Hello, second grade cougars. Last week, we saw what happened when we put solids in water. Some of them did nothing, right? The aluminum foil didn't any, do anything. It just It just got wet. Uh, some of them soaked up the water and got bigger. They expanded like the beans. The rice did a little bit, not as much as the beans. Some of them fell apart, like the cardboard and the cracker kind of fell apart, didn't it? And some of them dissolved. And that was really interesting to see how they disappeared in the water. They dissolved. Today, we're gonna see what happens when we add liquid water to other liquids. Okay, so boys and girls, I'm gonna do something with this project about adding liquids to other liquids. So um, I just want you to see, the first question is, is what happens when blank is mixed with water? So each one of you, it would be really great if each one of you could choose a different liquid if you still have your liquid bottles at home. Somebody could take the, just the colored water. Somebody could take the soap. Someone could take the honey or the corn syrup. Somebody could use the oil so that everybody could try something different, okay? And then it says, add water. How does it look? So I'm gonna take the lids off the water, off of the bottles. And I'm gonna pour some water into each bottle. So we can see what the level is on each one of them, right? There's the level that's at the top of the water and it's parallel to the surface of the earth. And that's because it's a liquid. Liquids have a level. And when we turn them, the level is stays parallel to the surface of the earth. But a solid, lots of little solids make piles, right? Okay, so now I'm going to add some water. This first bottle is oil. Huh, look at that. I poured in the water and the water went to the bottom and the oil is now floating on top. Okay, there's the oil. Here's the colored water. What happened to the colored water? It just got lighter, right? It's not as dark as it was before. There's a greater quantity of it. There's more of it. The level went up, but it didn't change much besides that. Here's the soap. That's kind of interesting. What do you see? It seems darker green at the bottom and a light green on top. And it seems like there is a level in between, right? It looks like there's almost layers. It looks like this is one layer of darker green and this is another layer of lighter green, okay? This is the corn syrup. one looks like it has two levels as well, doesn't it? Here's the transparent thick corn syrup on the bottom, and here's the transparent thin water on top, and the, the corn syrup still looks like it is viscous, right? It still looks like it is thick. Okay, so you're going to take a minute, and you're going to say, 
add water. How does it look? Choose one of those and write in your notebook about how the liquid looks Okay, now. the next thing in your science notebook, it says, shake it. How does it look? So I put the tops back on the bottles and now I'm gonna take a look at it before and then I'm gonna shake it. So this is the oil and water, the water's on the bottom and the oil is on top. And now I'm gonna shake it. Ooh, what does it look like now? It looks like to me, that it's lots of little bubbles and all, it's like before I could see through it and now it seems like it is opaque or maybe translucent. Interesting, okay. And now I'm going to stop shaking it and I'm gonna let it sit and we're gonna look at it the next time. Okay, here is the water and I'm going to shake it. How does it work? Oh, there was a tornado. So uh, it doesn't look very much different. Just a little few bubbles on the top from the air getting stuck inside. Okay, water. Here is the soap, the dish detergent with the water. And I still see two layers, right? So now I'm going to shake it. Ooh, look, ooh, look at that, look. You see the colors mixing in? Oh, I'm gonna shake it a little bit more. Very bubbly, frothy. Now it's like opaque or maybe just a little translucent. Wow, very cool. And some bubbles at the top. It's really filled up the whole bottle. Okay, I'm gonna set it aside and we're not gonna touch it until tomorrow. Okay, here is the corn syrup with the water. So I'm gonna shake it up. Okay, I see some little bubbles inside, but it's not as opaque as the others. Ooh, look at this. Do you remember how thick and viscous the corn syrup was before? But now that I've added water, it's not viscous anymore. It's very thin. It's unviscous. <laughs> Still a lot of bubbles in there. Okay. I'm gonna set it aside and we're gonna see what happens with it tomorrow. Okay, this is the next day and I've let the liquids sit overnight to see if anything would happen to them. So this is the corn syrup. So remember, ooh, it's still a little, you can see a little bit of the, do you see how it's not, that it's a little swirly? So. It's certainly not as viscous as it used to be, right? Remember how slow it moved before? It's not as viscous as it used to be. So when I add water to the corn syrup or the honey, it became thinner. That's about it, okay? Here is the water that was just a light green color. And when I added water to it, it made the color lighter. Right? It just, it did not make it, change it in any other way. Here is the um, dish soap that I added water to. It's still a little thick. Now, do you remember yesterday after I finished shaking it, it was completely opaque, right? The bubbles, it was full of bubbles and frothy. The bubbles have all popped and now it is back to being transparent or translucent, right? This is the one that I find very interesting. So this is the oil and the water. Yesterday, when I added the water, the water fell to the bottom. And do you remember that there were some bubbles uh, at the, on the level here? Well, 
And then I mixed it together, I shook it up, and it became really kind of thi like hard to see through, almost opaque. So um, this has changed, right? The oil still seems not as transparent or translucent as it was before. Now the oil is much harder to see through. The water is still pretty transparent, but the oil is not. But also, there's two layers. The oil and the water separated again. All right, so boys and girls, make sure you have your science notebook and you've got this page. And on number one, I said, I chose soap. What happens when soap is mixed with water? And I said, the first one was it had layers. So do you remember? When we first added the water to the green soap, uh, it had a layer of soap at the bottom and it had water on top. And if you wanted, you could add you some crayons so that you can make it clearer, okay? And then number two, shake it. How does it look? And I drew it kind of like this and I said it was very bubbly, very bubbly. And then number three, how does it look the next day? And I said it, what had, it was more transparent and less viscous, right? Not as viscous as it used to be. Hi Cougars, I looked back at my science notebook and I realized we didn't finish the writing from our, our work last week. So if your teacher remembered and had you do that, great job. If you're like me and you forgot, let's go back and do it again, okay? So, we looked at the solids, right? We put some solids in water, and the first thing was that we drew a picture of what they looked like first before we added the water. Then the next thing it says, in the second one, it says, after a night in the water, the solid looked, well, I had chosen salt. So I said that the solid looked clear. It dissolved, and so that's what I wrote on this page. Then, remember I said to leave the next page blank because I wanted us to write something about it. So what I did is I put number one, the salt looked like little cubes when it was dry. And then I put number two, after the water was added, the salt cubes dissolved and the water was clear. All right, so then I'm gonna put a number three because I already know what happened after the water dried up. So I'm going to say, when the water evaporated, the salt was left behind. And that's kind of an important idea for us to remember in terms of the water cycle. We're gonna talk about the water cycle later. Okay, so make sure that you write something in your science notebook about the solids and water. Got it? Then on the next page, it's this one. We didn't finish this one. Record what your dry solid looks like. And so I drew a picture because I did the salt. I drew this some salt crystals. And I said the solid looked like different shaped crystals because it looked different after it dried. Okay, so make sure that you add that to your science notebook. All right, so we spent the last two weeks adding water to stuff. We added water to solids and saw what happened with them. And then we added water to liquids and saw what happened with them. Next, we are going to see what happens when we change the temperature of water and other materials. All right, see you next week, cougars.